Hey, Trail Kreitzer at Go Hunt. Uh, we get a lot of questions about how to put together these little Seek Outside titanium stoves, uh, especially the new U-turn stoves. So today I just wanted to take maybe five or 10 minutes and do a quick run through on how you put together one of these titanium U-turn stoves from Seek Outside. Uh, when you get your stove, uh, you can see it obviously comes in a little carrying case here. Uh, this is the cub version, like I said, so everything fits within this little carrying case or within the little storage uh, pipe holder. Um, you've got obviously the U-turn portion of it here, which I will pull that out here just in a sec and show you how that works. Uh, you also have the dampener and uh, the spark arrestor. You can see here, this is your, your dampener, your control on how much um, heat you burn out, how much smoke you let out there. So that just simply slides in here. Uh, this little spark arrestor can be a little bit tricky to install, so I just want to do a quick run through. So that's one of the first things I typically do. You just take the end here, stick it down through that, pull it through, and at that point, you just kind of pull the whole thing here, slide the actual uh, little pointy end down here towards the bottom, and just pop that in. You can see how that installs pretty easy. Uh, again, that spark arrestor turns so that if you get any uh, junk built up on that, you can just simply dump that out and then turn it back so you can catch any creosote or anything as it goes through. Uh, so that's a pretty simple little process. Uh, again, little dampener here, you slide that in to control your rate. So that's the uh, top portion of that that is a new design for them. So before I jump in and actually put the stove together, uh, I was just gonna touch on the stove pipe. So with this little cub U-turn, you get a five and a half foot, foot pipe. Uh, typically you get this in the mail and you pull it out and you think, how does this make itself into a stove pipe? So essentially what you're gonna do, uh, I would recommend, we've got some videos within our library you can check out on how to uh, initially do this, but essentially what you're gonna do is roll this pipe out long ways and you're gonna take a broom handle and it helps if you've got three or four people the first time you do it. Essentially what you're gonna do is roll that pipe around that broom handle so that you've got a nice round, long, five and a half foot pipe. You're then gonna take the uh, pipe rings here and install those, slide them over the pipe, uh, evenly space them throughout the distance of that pipe. And typically what we recommend, Seek Outside recommends also, uh, is to do an initial burn in. So set your stove up, get everything set up, Take your stove pipe, get it rolled out, uh, install it uh, into the dampener, and then do an initial burn in, maybe 20, 30 minutes. And what you'll find is that after you do that, the stove pipe will actually take shape really easy on its own. Same with the body of these U-turn stoves. It'll just simply get what they call a burn in. So it'll take shape. You won't have to fight that next time that you roll that out. You'll simply roll it out and it'll roll itself up and you can easily install the uh, pipe rings. I did want to touch on that real quick. Obviously, I'm not going to do that today, but I did want to, to note that. So for the body of the stove, you've got four major pieces of that. You obviously have the top part where the stove pipe is going to fit into. You have the bottom piece, which mirrors it without the hole in it. And then you've got the front part of the stove, which is where you're going to load the wood in. And then you've got the body of the stove, which is just this uh, one solid piece of titanium. Um, this is, like I said, it's the U-turn version, uh, ultralight version. You're missing that back wall. Like I said, this is one contiguous piece that's going to make up the body of that. Typically what I want to do as I set this thing up is I'll just set the bottom piece out here, uh, take the front part. Uh, typically what I'll do is just slide in uh, the front piece into the receiver. You can see that there's a little groove right here in this uh, side piece that just slides over the front part of the stove. What I'll do is I'll just set that in and then uh, wrap this around and uh, install this front piece right here in the opposite groove, which is right here. And it can take you a second to get used to putting it together. Um, like I said, as you burn this thing in, uh, it's actually going to take shape on its own very quickly and easily. Um, the first time it's a little bit awkward, but not too bad. You can see how that works. 
Um, these little edges right here, and I'm not going to do it, but you can see these two little perforated uh, edges, these slits here. That's actually going to uh, slide on either side of the bottom part here to secure the side piece, keep it locked in so it doesn't uh, pop out on you. So you've got it kind of set in there uh, like you want it, and then I'm going to take the top lid and just simply slide that over the top so that I can keep the sides in and kind of tuck it all in. You can see that you've got your stove basically uh, put together. The next thing that you're going to want to do uh, is take the legs. The legs are made up of these four long threaded rods. You've got uh, wing nuts, so you've got two wing nuts per leg, and then you also have a little footer, which is simply uh, a screw-on little footer that just screws right on the end there. So typically what I do is when I store mine, uh, I'll keep it put together like this. I'll have a wing nut here and then the leg uh, on the one side. And then what I'm gonna do is just turn this on its side. You wanna keep some pressure on it, obviously, so you can keep it together, and then you're just gonna slide the rod through. And it takes a little bit of practice. Sometimes if you got a, a buddy that can help you be a spotter for you, it helps. So then you're just gonna take the wing nut on the other side and uh, start it. So I got the two front uh, legs put on. You're just gonna simply pop in and do the back two the exact same way. Like I said, these two little per perforated edges, you can see they slip on uh, either side. I could pull that one out and slip it down. And, and that's just to keep the walls uh, fully extended and out. that down um, if I had to level that up say I was you know a little bit on a hillside or a slant I could simply screw one of these uh, rods out to make that up and make that distance uh, level got the front door here simply gonna slide that in and so that's how you assemble one of these Seek Outside Cub U-turn stoves or any of the U-turn stoves uh, it's actually a really simple process like I said the thing that you got to keep in mind is these little receivers that go into the front part of the stove. And then once you get it kind of molded and set inside and you get the lid and the bottom part put on uh, and you get a couple threaded rods completely installed and inserted, it stays together really nicely. It's actually a really simple process uh, to put this little stove together. Uh, again, the pipe, the dampener, everything that you need comes in these little kits for these stoves. Uh, if you're looking for an option to hunt later into the year, you're talking those late October, November, maybe even a late uh, December hunt, uh, these little Seek Outside titanium U-turn uh, stoves are really, really handy. Uh, we have these in the gear shop. Uh, this is the U-turn Cub. We also have the large and the uh, medium U-turn, so check those out in the shop. If you have any questions about how to assemble these or about the stoves, feel free to drop me a comment below. Um, once again, this is the Seek Outside U-Turn Stove.